Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Carlson and I'm inside the Microsoft headquarters in Redmond, Washington and with me is Dan Hubble. And Dan, how can hooking your computer up to your TV make for a better experience? Typically I talk about how the office environment where we typically see the PC can be very unnatural and uncomfortable particularly for people that haven't used a computer in an office environment or some environment that a PC has typically been found in. So bringing the PC into the living room is a natural place because most of us are already comfortable sitting in front of some sort of screen in our living room. So I start with, we've got our Sunday football 47 inch TV here mm -hmm. and this is a great way to first just have a bigger experience which is naturally going to be easier to use. I have here a keyboard, a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse that I can use again right on my lap as I'm sitting on the couch or maybe I have a cushion that I'm gonna you know, rest that on as I'm typing. Now I can do everything from email, I can do surfing the web, uh, watching movies, TV, whatever I enjoy doing. Some people still, even in a lot with a larger TV though, may find it hard to see from 10 feet away. So we have a few options on the computer in Windows 7 that make it easier to see. One of which is called our high DPI setting, which is the dots per inch that Windows draws the icons and text on the screen. And I can go in and I can change on the start menu and in the search box, clicking the word text and then clicking on the control panel, make text and other items larger or smaller. Mm -hmm. And this brings up our display control panel where by default the DPI would be at 100% and here I have our settings set at 150% which makes everything 50% bigger. Yeah, that makes it a lot easier to see, no it, doubt. It certainly does. Now some people might still find this a little too small to see or in some cases there might be some text that is still visually smaller, they can see the menus fine, but some of the text might still be smaller to see. So we also have a function called Windows Magnifier that's built into Windows 7. And to turn on the Windows Magnifier, I simply press the Windows key on the keyboard. There's a little logo with the Windows logo on it and the plus sign. And that's going to zoom me in on the screen. Oh. So in this case, I've zoomed in and you can now see that I've zoomed in on that menu and I have a much larger view of it and I can continue to zoom in again if I wanted more detail. And then lastly, a lot of people, I should say most people nowadays actually use the internet for everything right. from, from doing research, reading the news, sharing information with friends and family, whether that's photos online or, or videos. So the internet and that experience has become a, a very integral part into what we use the PC for. So unlike the other magnifiers that we were using, Internet Explorer actually also has a magnifier built in. Oh. And by default, most websites have a fairly small uh, imprint. Sometimes you'll see the screen and the web page is actually smaller than the entire width of the right. screen. Yes. In the bottom corner of Internet Explorer, we actually have an option here to change our zoom scaling. So it's at 100% which we would mm -hmm. naturally expect as the default and this would take me to any number of magnification levels okay. that I want. That's a little easier on the eyes. It certainly is, yeah, and it's easier to move through and and read uh, particularly lists of you know, blocks of text that you might find in an article online. Great. Great. Well thank you very much, Dan. It's my pleasure.